Morning, First Love Church. Devo's time. So we were talking about Timothy. I like that Paul includes these little snippets of uh, humanness, uh, part of, of people involved in the story. Um, you know, Timothy, his service clearly spelled out by the Apostle Paul in this letter. And here he gets into Aphroditus and uh, Epaphroditus. And he calls him my fellow brother, worker, fellow soldier, but your messenger and the one who ministered to my need. So evidently he was with Paul in Rome and uh, he got sick and he got quite sick and um, he was healed and he got homesick uh, for Philippi. And Paul said, yeah, you know what? Go, go, go see your people, go see our people, go see the church, see how it's doing and uh, hang out with Tim. And, and, so, and so it says he was, indeed he was sick, almost sent to death, but God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but also on me, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore I send him all the more eagerly, that when you see him again you may rejoice, and I may be less sorrowful. Receive him, therefore, in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such men in esteem, because the work, because for the work of Christ he came close to death, not regarding his life, to supply what was lacking in your service towards me. Pointedly, <clears throat> Paul makes a, a, a point of saying that something was lacking in your service towards me, and that Ephroditus, and you know, the church is filled with humans, and humans are sometimes short on supply. It's always 95% of the people who don't do much at the church, and 5% who do all the work. It's always 5% who supply most of the funds. It's always a small percentage of people that put in the most of the work. And, 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 and a lot of people come um, to get. A lot of people come to get. And, and, and that's natural. That's, we wish as pastors and leaders and deacons and elders and all that, we wish people were more invested. We wish people were more Uh, what's the right word? Just more invested, more lit up, more. But it is what it is. And people have lives and people have families and people have these things going on. It, it, it's, it, it, may, it may even be my fault to not stir you up enough, to not offer you enough. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out when it when the end of it all comes down, man, and we're being raptured up out of here. I'm I'm pretty sure there's going to be a a, a list, a ch uh, uh, oh, a critique sheet that says, man, you know, I kept waiting for Jesus. Tell me, I kept waiting for you to do this, and you never did. That's probably not really going to happen, but I liked it. Paul put in, included in this uh, these people's story, Timothy and Ephrodites, Epaphrodites, <clears throat> because it gives us a little human touch. It shows Paul's emotional involvement in the individuals that are with him on his journey. It shows the shortcoming of the church that Paul is the pastor of, And it, and it spells out humanity. I wish this church was just so deeply invested in every part of this that it was like that it was like glowing in the sky uh, with brightness because of the passion and the and the sense of purpose that. We have here, and I'm not saying that we don't. 
we do have a huge sense of purpose here. This Mother's Day was such a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to have many, many, many more times. And we're growing. We've got a new thing coming up on Thursday night. And it's going to be called Restore. And it's going to be awesome. And as the years go by, we're going to see this place begin to swell. Begin to swell, begin to glow, begin to glisten, begin to shine. We're going to see children grow up and become young adults. I'm hoping one of these kids that's now chill in children's ministry will someday lead the children's ministry as a youth pastor or something. But the church, when you think about it, it's a living thing. And it's got to be nurtured and it's got to be watered and it's got to be gardened. It's got to be guarded. It's got to be taken care of. It has to be prayed for. We got to pray for this church. We got to pray for the people in this church. We got to continually bless the Lord. Bring Him glory. I want this place to be remembered as being real, potent, powerful, a place where help is forthcoming. A place where you show up and you get what you need. You get saved. You get discipled. You get consecrated. That's what I hope. We're going to be moving on to another part in chapter 3. So we'll get to that tomorrow. But in the meantime... Play with, pray with me, please. Heavenly Father, thank you. Good God. Give us this day righteousness and truth and holiness. Help us to be buoyed up where we might be sinking. Completed where we might be lacking. Give us joy where there might be sorrow and heal us where we might be infirm. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys tomorrow. Love you very much. This is First Love Church. Welcome home.